All right. <clears throat> now we're going to this next video. Um, I showed you how to build it with a website with a website builder. I showed you how to do it using WordPress. So now I'm going to show you how you can create a simple website using by uploading your own website. So you see this right here. I'm clicking on it right now. It says upload now. It's going to go to the file manager. All right. Now once you get up here. As you can see, all I need to say is start with WPWP, mostly because we just installed the WordPress page, the WordPress accounts, okay? Now, um, this was the one of the things that they asked you for. When you do the WordPress, you can actually move this to a different location where it can just be like your website slash WP, and all these files are going there. If you don't want to do that, and I would suggest, I'm actually getting ready to just change this all together. So um, I'm not going to move any of these, but instead I'll rename this right here. So then I'll call it WP Index. So that way if I need to come back to this, I can just rename it Index. Because any file that you're going to put in here to make your website be seen, it has to have an index file. which has to be either index.php or index.html or index.htm. Okay? Now, and so now we don't have any of those. So now what we're going to do, I'm going to create one. Come up here, you create this file right here, and you want it to call index.php. We'll do PHP. I like PHP better because I can. it's easier to, to update. So now when you do that, you actually will look at, um, let me see, you can actually see your website. So go to your website, and it should look like this. There's nothing on it. Because we just changed the index from the WordPress to our blank one. So now we want to add something to it. So I'm going to show you guys a little bit of simple tips. Little really simple, easy to, easy to use tips so that way you can create a simple, very simple website. Now I'm actually going to go ahead and create a, uh, a separate video on how you create your own uh, your own capture page and because it's going to be a lot longer than this one. So that one, that one might be like 30 minutes long because I'm going to have to go through every step with you guys and show you the coding and also show you how you can update the stuff yourself, yourself as well. But at the end of that video, I will also have it to where you can download all of my codes and the files. And just upload them. And I'm going to show you another video on how to upload that too. All right. So, um, because that's actually something that you need to you need to know how to use um, if you're going to use this method. So, let me go ahead and, and put that down. So, how to upload via FTP. All right. So, now we're going to go ahead and just add a little something. So, now... Let's see, because this is not for everybody, okay? Now, if you're not the if you're not very patient enough to sit here and actually try to code or try to put the site together by hand, then go ahead and just do the templates, because you can still get the same thing, save a lot of time, and you know what I'm saying. You can still get the same results, and you have a lot more control. Now, this one is just for people who want to take the extra step to create something more custom, more unique. Now, when I first learned how to code, I went through I don't know how many videos I watched. Um, I had a, a bunch of people that I was actually following at the time. Um, Grant Fisher was one of them. He was more for designs and stuff like that. Then I started reading up on how to code. And I actually, one of the websites that I went to that was a big help to me was w3schools.com. Okay. Now you can actually go ahead and click on the link below for that one as well. And basically, this is basically how you will learn how to do HTML. Like, no joke. Now, I usually come here a lot so that I can refresh my memory, so I can learn how to do different things and stuff like that. Now, you can also learn, if you wanted to, you can just click on these, and you can learn how to do something really, really, really basic. So, say, for example, you want to do styles, styles, all right? Now, it actually will show you how to do that, and it'll show you how to make them like this. Okay, so now let's do this. Let's go ahead and just do something simple. Right click on the file and you click edit. And I'm going to show you this is simple, simple, simple code. Okay, now first things first when you are coding, if you are serious about coding, this is where a lot of money is at. Okay, you go ahead and you start off with HTML, open bracket, HTML, close bracket, hit enter, you go open bracket, head. Close bracket. Then you hit enter again. Now, keep in mind, now what you normally start off with, let me go ahead and delete this. So what you normally start off with, it's going to be HTML. The way you start to do the codes, it's going to be one code, it's going to open up. 
It's gonna open up all the scripts at the bottom, and then you have the code at the bottom to close it. It's always gonna be the same one. So you have open bracket HTML close bracket. You need another one. Open bracket backslash HTML close bracket. That's the opening, and this is the ending. So this is the opening opening statement, and this is the closing statement. So all this is telling everything that's in the middle is what's gonna be on the website. So everything we're gonna put on now is what's gonna be on the website actually showing up. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and do the head, like I said. Do the same thing. Go down, hit, <clears throat> close it, open, and close it. Now in the header, usually what I put in here, it could be um, a few codes, but it'll start off something really easy. We'll just do the title. So that's gonna be what's actually gonna show up. And it goes the same thing. Now you wanna make sure that you slide over inside the bracket and you can put your title. So what we'll do with our title is MCA Auto Benefits. And let me show you something. All right. <coughs> If I hit save, the code still stays here. You see, there's five lines of coding. Now let's go to my website. Refresh the page. What's this, what's this say up here? MCA auto benefits. You see that? We just changed the title. That's it. That was just that simple. All right. So now that we did that, now we're gonna go into the body. The body is what's gonna be on the actual page. Now we can actually, I can actually show you how you can change the background color all that stuff but we'll come back to that because we're gonna always go to mw3 schools so that way you can see exactly how you can use it all right so now let's this is the body so this is now let's test this out so now we come to the body and you want everything that you want on the website is gonna be inside the body so we're gonna head and just say this is the body section of the website hit save now let's see what happens and we just put in some code people that's it's that simple it is that simple. Now, I'm going to give you some other, for other coding. Now, say um, you want to add some more to this, but you don't want on the same line. So say if you if you scroll down, if you hit enter once, and I say I'll go ahead, this is the second line. What's going to happen? Is that going to go below, below it? Where is it going to go? Right next to it. So if you want to separate them, make it go to the next line. And you just do that. Open bracket, PR, BR, close bracket. So that's gonna be what is gonna be your next line. It's gonna show you how to just it's telling the, the telling the code in the website in the browser to go to the next line. And refresh it, it's on the next line. You see that that's that simple. Okay. Now again, we'll come up here because we want to do some fancy stuff to it. Now I want you guys to use this. Okay, now the website, before you make this go public, before you start sharing it everywhere, you want to make sure that you are using this so that way you can um just test it out. Test your skills out. And definitely using this website right here, using this site to learn how to code will definitely help you out as well. <clears throat> okay. Now, um, they also have a lot of things on here that you can try out. But I really wanted something really basic. So, um, oh, let me show you something else right quick. So now say, uh, let's do something really, 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 really basic. Really, really, really basic. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, here we go. So do open bracket H1 close bracket. And I want this centered. No, we'll come back to that. But I'm, I do want to center, I'm gonna come back to that. So we'll go ahead and install MCA auto benefits. Close bracket and enter. Okay, now once you do that, then we can actually go through and you can make another one, H3 if you want. And have affordable roadside assistance. Right? Go down again. Now, this part I actually want you guys to see. Why? Because we're going to add an image to it. Now, <clears throat> when you are adding images, let me see. What am I going to use? What image site am I going to use? Let's do a tiny pic. Alright, let's do this. Just use tiny pic. For example, now I still need to get the image though, right? Like I still need the picture. But what I could do, because I don't really want to go ahead and go any image, any image from here, and then have to link it to Google again. I want to go ahead and save it for myself, upload it to the thing to my server myself. So let's go ahead and find some towing images. Okay. And we'll click on this one. This one's a good picture. Let's do this one. All right. 
And then, you hit, of course, you save your image. Wait for it to come up. Let's see here. So I'll leave it right here. I'm car toying. All right. Now, you know what? I don't even need Tiny Pick anymore. This is what we're gonna do. So we're gonna go back up here. Close. You're gonna save, save and close. You can actually refresh your page to see what it looks like. Give it a second. Now let's go ahead and refresh this right quick. All right, so you see, you see what so we did. So now we're gonna. I want to need to get an images folder. So go ahead and hit this plus sign and type in images and create. And you found your images folder, right? So now what you want to do is you want to upload something. So let's go ahead and select the files. What do I have at the bottom? Right here. Now it's going to upload it once you hit upload. So now what you want to do, hit view. Now we got an image. Now, once you have this image, you want to go ahead and go to the link, copy and paste it. Now I can say it's going to be really simple. I don't want to do too much on this. So let's go ahead and go back to our folder, the public, the public underscore HTML. Now you go back to index, right click, and then you go to edit. I'm going to show you how you can add these images in here, okay? And then you hit open bracket, type in IMG, SRC equals, then you put double quotes, close bracket. The link that we just had, you're going to insert it into the, in, in between these double brackets. Again, when you're typing this in images, whenever you want the images to show, this is the code that you need to put in right here, right over here. Open bracket, IMG space, SRC equals, double quotes, double quotes, close bracket. Now insert that that link in between both 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 quotes. Hit save. Let's see what it looks like. Perfect. Now, what do we want? What are you noticing that I'm noticing that I want it to fix? I want it centered. I want it centered. Um, with this, you can actually below this. If you hit the, you gotta make sure you hit break again. You can do it a couple times, give it some space, and then you can put your information at the bottom. Um, contact me here or some shit like that, right? X, X. All right, and then some more brackets and more breaks. So now again, I do want I do want to be centered. So go ahead and head above, above the coding between in between body and type in center. Open close bracket. Same thing. Before you get to the close bracket for the body, you type in the close bracket for center. Then you come up here. There we go. And that's pretty much it. That's how this is a simple, very simple method how you use website. Basically just heading, image, and text at the bottom. Okay. And we can do a whole lot more. Um, like I said, I will go more in depth with it in it with you guys to show you guys how you can actually update a lot of files. I'm actually gonna go through and make another video on how you can create an actual capture page itself. Um, but this one is gonna be basically how you can create something very, very simple. Um, if you're just starting out and you just need something just out there, definitely use this method because you can put your image right here. And you can put any image, preferably an image with you enjoying the benefits or even a video. And you can actually use the same method. Like say, for example, you want to embed a video, you can use the same methods. You want to go here and edit. Let's go here. And if I want to just embed one of my videos in here, all right. Now, for example, like this one, if I want to just go ahead and embed it in here, because it actually had a little combo, but well, we good though. Um, I go to share, and you want the embed embed code right here. So this is another tidbit that you can use. So say you don't have a picture, say you want to use a video instead, you can actually take out this whole picture right here. Insert 
the embed code, hit save, and then it'll be up here. And that's it. That's pretty much it. Same thing would be if you had a mail if you have MailChimp, you can actually insert that code in there too. So that way you can actually have a form that people can actually use. Um and I'll show you different methods on how you can um change everything. But for the most part, that's how you would do that. Okay. I'm trying to see I might be able to find one little extra coding for you guys. Alright. Alright, here we go. Now this is what I want you guys to see. Now this is CSS. This is this is a little more uh, advanced than HTML, but you can still learn it over here. Now I really want you guys to see how you can change the background. So um, you can do the image too. It's actually gonna be the same way. I'm actually gonna I might show that to you. And maybe in this video, it might be in the next video. But usually they give you the coding already over here. So you can actually test this here before you would put it over there. So say you see how it is over here. You put your light. Uh, you got your light blue. I can make that black, and I can make H1. You just you see that's what we actually had on the other side. We can make that red, and then just change that, run it. You see how that works? And same thing. You see how this is? You can actually add color up here and make that white, and run it. So it's, it's a lot of these things you can use up here. So let's try. Let me just show. For example. Now, if I copied, selected this style right here, you see where they put the style is in between the head brackets, not in between the the body brackets, but in between the head brackets. So now, if we come up here and we put the style in between the head brackets, okay, you want to keep the background black, for example. Now let's test it out. Now, um, what did we just add? That was the H1, H1. That goes for this one right here. So that one is actually going to be in red. H3, I don't have up here, but what I usually do if I don't have it, I copy the first one, add it below. Now this one I be I might be I might be losing some of y'all here, but um it, it kind of still applies. So, but I guess if I am losing you, just let me know and then I'll um I'll break it down for you in on uh, one on one so that you get some help with it. And now of course you guys know you can adjust your width and your height on these videos so they can look better. Now with this one right here. We don't want it to just stand there, so we'll go ahead and just make it to a, a paragraph bracket. So that way, whatever shows up for the P, which is right here, will actually show up on the a, on the page. So now we should have a a, a brighter page or a, a more colorful page, wherever you want. It. And there's the video, and that's that's it. And you see what we just did was add some color, change it to black, and it's it's this simple coding right here. Now I can actually include this for you guys at the bottom. Um, it's gonna be really simple. It's really easy, but you can use it to mess around with it, just to play around with it and see what you think, and um, and see you know how it works out for you guys as well. So let me go ahead and get ready to save that. Uh, easy code, and I put that in a, a text form, a text file, and upload it. And then you guys, like I said, you can just come and just download it. And then just copy and paste it into here. If you go, if you want to do this method, if you don't want to do this method, that's fine too. You don't have to do a method. And that's pretty much it as far as this way goes. And that is how you would be able to upload your own website, so that way you can actually be able to, um, you know, have more control and know how to actually code, and even help other people who don't know how to code as well. All right. So um, I'll check you guys out on the next video. Um, the next one is going to be about. Oh, I connect your domain. So I'll work on that in the next one, and then I'll see you guys then. Thank you so much.